are you doing, Ron? I don't want to know Master, about that. <laughs> masturbating yeah. the guitar hand. The there guitar you go. Hand. I mean, you know, that might be one thing you start doing when you have a breakup. You know, yeah, sit there and improve a skill you have. Well, like right. I'd always learn parts. Right. Like I'd learn. I remember know, that this part, that part. Never, I'd, and I'd be like, oh fuck, I, I'm, I can't, I can't do that part. So I'd stop progressing and through the song, and mm-hmm. I'd just move on to another part and another song that seemed cool. <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. That's never what trust your instincts. <laughs> <laughs> You turn just out like your father. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's an insult for some people. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Is uh, it, Star Fox. Is that a reference to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I knew father, I didn't get me it like for some too. reason. Yeah, you should you, you should play that game. That game is pretty good. I need a Nintendo system first. I, I'm, Nintendo I'm gonna, 64. Don't you fuck, still have my Wii? The fucking Wii. It won't connect to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's fucking broke, man. You, you, you broke it. <laughs> You broke the shit out of it. Uh, like maybe I don't know. I mean, it's if got, you still like, have it, I might be able to get it working. It's got Super Mario Three and Kirby on it. And, yeah, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's, cool. that's not bad. Yeah, Kirby. It, Kirby I, makes me happy. That's a com- you know you could definitely have worse like video games and than Super those. Mario Three isn't that the one that wasn't a Mario game that they turned? No, no, that was Mario, Mario 2. Two. Okay, yeah, it was like Doki Doki Panic or something like that, yeah. and then they just took it for the U.S. market and threw a coat of Mario paint on it. Yeah. Because Super Mario The Lost Levels, which comes on the All-Stars cart, was apparently supposed to be Mario 2, if I remember. But it was too difficult for us because back in the 80s and 90s, we were terrible at video games. So At least according to the Japanese. Right. Which, honestly, I will fucking totally bow to them on Mario. Yeah, we are. We're terrible to the Jap- We're terrible to the Koreans at video games now. That's well, we're terrible to, to them that. when it comes to StarCraft. Everything That's else, true. I'm pretty sure we're okay at. But when it comes to Mario games, I will fucking completely bow to the Japanese because you see stuff like Mario Maker, how people make those <laughs> fucking levels. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, no, what are you doing with your life? Be an idiot for a minute. Like it's a thing. Like Jeremy, he he's just like a prodigy. His like the his fucking. His fucking oriental blood comes out. Like, <laughs> never can get past something. I'm like, Jeremy, do it. He's yeah. never played the fucking game before. Just boom. <laughs> he just does the it's, it's just It's in he's his got, blood. He's it's gaming his powers. Blood. I think that's yeah. a little racist. I mean, totally. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, if there's truth no, to it, what's your explanation? Right. I mean, you know... <laughs> Well, what's the, what's the term? Stereotypes exist for a reason. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Are a thing. Yeah. So I mean, oh shit happens, and if Jeremy is good at video games, fuck yeah. it, man. I never knew that StarCraft had uh, like a life ki- like a lifetime. You can yeah. play it oh, yeah. before you will have serious medical issues, like greater than football or basketball or other things. Like yeah, you play yeah, those yeah. for twenty years. StarCraft, ten years, and you have permanent carpal tunnel, and you've had like eight wrist surgeries. Yeah, and it's you, insane. You, like, you have arthritis now, yeah, so and you're blind. And you're blind. <laughs> That's new. I've never heard that fuck. one. I don't Why know. Why am I even alive? Yeah, but, it, but um, those motherfuckers, though. Hey, man. Speaking of video games, though, what yeah. about that Super Mario Odyssey, Luke? Oh, I was just gonna say, I'm so glad it's not hard like those other Mario's, or I wouldn't fucking play it. I mean, it, it definitely <laughs> has its difficulty, and it definitely has its speed runners. Like you oh, see yeah. some of them fucking doing some insane shit, but that I game... can't. I can't even figure out how to do the dive in <laughs> mid when I'm doing those jumps. But I, that's one of the most fun things. Is like. I'm going to see if I can get up there by jumping off this wall and taking over that thing and throwing my hat there and fucking waving my ass around over here and backflipping. And it's awesome. It's so much fun. I'm super jelly. I wish I had a Switch oh, and I could fuck. play it. Like, yeah. I didn't want to play, you know, I didn't want to play Breath of the Wild. Right, right. Like, I, yeah. I was, I acknowledge that, you know, it's it's amazing. I mean, it looks amazing. It you're looks not, fun, a, but you're not a Zelda fan, so yeah, I never, it doesn't matter. I never wanted to go out and right. play it, but. Mario, man. I just want to buy a yeah. Switch and yeah. play that game with my son. Odyssey is one of those games that is like, it's as good as all the hype says, just like Breath of the Wild. I, I you know, and me being the huge Zelda fan that I am, I, I would go so far as to say that Odyssey is better than Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Oh, and overall fun and everything that you do, it's like, no, this this game is just like the like perfect Mario game. Variety. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, I can't remember a game that I've played that made me sit down and really go... I I I can't really find a fault with this. I yeah. can't there's not something that doesn't make me happy right. about playing that game. Yeah. It's just joyous. The music, the fucking sounds, everything. It's bright, colorful, it, it looks really, yeah. really good. It's like it's everything a Mario game should be. Yeah, oh yeah. And every time you go and find a shiny thing, even after you the hundredth or hundred and fifty or I haven't played that many, but three hundredth, you're still like, ha, I got the thing. 
I think you're the only one that's like that. I will but thank you. <laughs> it still feels good to find. Yeah, no, like there's always complete a, puzzles. There's a sense of accomplishment. Like it's one thing when it's a really simple one, but it's a whole other thing when it's like, holy oh, shit, yeah. I never expected that. I wonder if they ah, they did. There's a lot of that in there. It's game. like it's like the one where uh, you know, in that that uh, underground maze where the things are invisible. I told you, hey man, go hit that sign with your hat. It's like, holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Yep. Like, you get a little power moon, and power moons are the thing that you collect, and then there's just two different kinds of currency, standard gold coins, and then the purple coin that's exclusive to each world. It's shaped differently. Like, dude, no, this game is awesome. Oh, yeah, it feels like uh, Mario 64 to me. Like, the first time I played that game as a kid, uh, that was like an experience yeah. of, oh, whoa. I can, that's one of the first everywhere? things, like, when I saw mm-hmm. the game in motion, like, man, yeah. this, I'm getting real Super Mario 64 vibes. When uh, when Luke asked me about it the night it released, like, hey, what's it like? I I sat down because I was actually going to go to n- take a nap when you messaged me, and I'm like, no, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's play that game. I put on some coffee, sat down, and played it. Um, I got back to him like two or three hours later. And I'm like, it's like Breath of the Wild had a baby with Super Mario 64. Mm-hmm. Like that's exactly what it is. It's got like the completely open nature of both games. With the exploration of uh, Breath of the Wild and just the fun Mario action. So there's, like, this game is really fucking fun. I wish I could play more of it, but I'm also addicted to Fire Emblem Warriors right now. Yeah. So, I mean, like, all the shit you people give Dynasty Warrior games for being simple. It's like, yeah, this game is simple, but it still has, like, the strategy of Fire Emblem thrown in. So it's actually a little more... Than just oh yeah, just mindlessly hack everything to death. It scratches a certain itch. It does, yeah, because it gives those, you like those types of games. You got to think a little bit because it's not oh yeah, the sword man can just kill everything. Look, no, if you're not careful, that spear dude's gonna fuck you up. Yeah, because that's the way Fire Emblem works. You know, you got it's basically Dynasty Warriors with Fire Emblem strategy thrown in. Yeah, there's it's got the uh, rock paper scissors. Yeah, yeah, just like Pokemon, just like yeah, yeah. But uh, so far, you know, I'm I've, I've I'm at end game of the main story. I got one more level to complete, and I'm like, I don't want to beat it just yet. Mm. So I went and started doing. There's a separate mode called history mode where you replay through scenes from classic games. Uh, like there's the awakening one where it's Crom and uh, Robin going up against the Valadar to stop him from summoning Grima, the world dragon. But whatever the fuck the dragon was, I don't remember what it was actually called now. And then you know there's the one where there's a scene. F- the next one is the scene f- between uh, and uh, fates and in conquest, where the two factions are fighting each other over Corin, the name, the main uh, protagonist in that game. And then the last one that I can see that I have is, um, and I don't know if there's any more that are unlockable, but the last one I have uh, deals with Marth and Seda and all those guys and Talit and going up against that whatever yeah. threat was in that game. I like that the, the, it's a lot of content that'll keep you coming back to the game outside of the main point of the game. Right. Um, which, it like, with single-player games is important nowadays. Since we've got this whole big, the death of the single-player game that everyone's fucking been chatting about because EA decided they're going to be assholes and kill Visceral. Yeah, and it's I mean, like, so no. bitter about that. Like, oh, I yeah. Am, Dead Space is my favorite. The first Dead Space is my mm-hmm. favorite game of all time. Right, right. I've always held out hope that they would go back to that after whatever, after they're done with this bullshit or that bullshit. And, and sure enough, EA is going to EA and bleed the life out of a, um, yeah, a fucking game studio and then well, close the doors. I think it was today. Um I, I don't remember the name of the studio, but they just bought another studio. They bought the studio that Why made. Why would you do that? Um, like you, you know, Titanfall. You I know, believe. they oh, may, God, may not no. happen immediately. Yeah, oh yeah they're next. They're on the two, chopping block. Two, three, four years from now, but right. your studio, you are, you're, you're gonna die. Your, your studio is dead. <laughs> yeah. eventually. Basically, once EA buys you, you are, you are gone. Like that's, yeah, that's it. it. That's you, it. you're on a ticking time clock, where. <laughs> Holy shit, hold on. I, I just pulled up Reddit because I wanted to find out what this was. There's a fucking, uh, somebody posted a screenshot from the V board on 4chan. What if EA is buying all those studios so they can sell them all later in the boxes to other companies? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes. That that makes me laugh. The only one that hasn't went down that way is, is Bioware. 
They, and they, I'm waiting for that to happen. Here it is. They they acquired Respawn Entertainment. Yeah, the the Titanfall guys. Yeah, the uh, guys who left uh, the Infinity Ward because had, Activision was shooting shitting yeah, all over them. The, the game studio that had nowhere to go after Titanfall two bombed, anyways. <laughs> which which is a shame because Titanfall two it is didn't really bomb. good. Vast There's no, no. I mean, in terms of like it didn't do EA's numbers yeah, that no. they wanted. It made money. It was and an it amazing was, game. It was like public opinion. Like it yeah. was. Vastly improved. Over I, the yeah, first. I mean, yeah. I, and the campaign was supposed to be really good. I, I never, I never, played, I nev- I never played the first one. Year. I never played the first one, but um, I saw gameplay videos of the second one and immediately bought it. Like, yep, I'm, I'm buying that. I want to play that. Yeah. Eventually, I want to play that. I, I, the problem is, you know, with all of us, the way you know gamers do it's like we get games that we want to play and then we just have this fucking list of yeah. games jesus god like i have 200 games on steam and while that's small compared to some people who have thousands of games on steam it's like i have 200 games on steam but then i have mario odyssey on switch i have fire and warriors on switch i have a couple games on my shield tv that are retro that i want to play through it's like I have too much video game stuff going yep. on to get to the stuff i want to play like i still haven't played near automata Bought that game, like, yeah. the day it released. Haven't fucking touched it. Yeah. I've installed it. It's sitting on my computer right now, so I can play it. I just haven't yet. Um, you know, Titanfall is another one of those games. I have it. It's in there. It's installed. ready to go. Haven't fucking touched it. I hate how I'll look at my list. Like, man, I need to, I'm going to play one of these games I haven't played yet. I'm going to sit down, and I'll look, and I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't really feel like it. Let's go play some more PUBG. Or let's go play yeah, some know. more. I'm a, but, uh, I'm a little we'll different. Do. Ever since I've had my son and stuff, like I've I've had far less disposable income. Yeah. So I'll I'll just I buy less new games and I'll just always go back to the classics. Like I'll just go back and play Dead Space one and two, yeah. and then go back to Bioshock or play the old Splatter houses and shit. But only recently I've had a lot more time on my hands. Like over the last month, I've been playing. Uh, I went back and bought The Witcher Three because I never beat it. Right, mm-hmm. right. But it, it's it's just so daunting starting from square one. I didn't. Oh, I know. I know you posted a picture of it, but I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. I just saw Witcher Three. Like, fuck yeah! Did you get the expansions too? Did that no, come with it? I'm going oh, okay. to. Okay, but, yeah. No, I just bought the the GB. I can't. You know. I can't. Um, I can't speak to Blood and Wine because I haven't completed it yet. But Heart Heart of Stone was so fantastic, yeah. so I gotta amazing. Get there, though. I remember put I put in like eighty eight hours, and I wasn't I didn't even beat the fucking main story. Man. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I think I put in one hundred and fifty before I said fuck it. I'm gonna go complete the main quest. And I just found yeah, the frying pan. And I'm like, oh god! I'm you just, remember that oh, in the first? I'm mean, like, oh man. my god! Best I quest, so best quest ever. Far to yep. go. Yep. So then I, I put that down, and then I was like, man, I, I, wanted, I really wanted to play the new Doom, but I never got time. So I went back, and I, and I bought Doom the uh, Doom last year and and uh, bought this little this little game called Slain. It's like this little Castlevania, Metroid, like, side-scroller. God, it is so punishing. One of those indie it's the most, Metroidvania and it, games. And man. it is the most metal game I have ever <laughs> played. Oh, right. my fuck. You beat the first stage, and he just gets and starts doing a Nathan Explosion windmill. <laughs> <laughs> yes! He's the most nice. angriest Squisgar-looking guy. Big fucking sword killing monsters with, like, guitar, heavy-ass guitar riffs playing in the background. And it's fucking awesome. I recommend that game to anybody. If But... Uh, Prepare your asshole, because it's going to kill the shit out of you over and over and over and over. It's the most punishing game I've played. I don't remember playing a game that difficult right. since I was, a, like, a boy right. when oh, yeah. I was they, younger. They've gone back to the old SNES yeah. difficulty. Of- yeah, man, like... like- yeah, it reminds me of when I started playing. Like, I got the Mega Man Legacy Collection, so I just got oh the first God. six Mega Man games. Yeah. I was sitting there playing that. Uh, I was playing Mega Man 1. I was going through Cut Man stage, and, like, there's just no stopping the enemies. Like, like later game titles, like Mega Man X, if you kill an enemy, it it's gone. Yeah. But in Mega Man 1, 2, 3, you kill an there's enemy, break. They, they just keep coming. But if there's you, no if stop. You, if you buckle down and and you just keep going and keep going in right. that repetition, you you progress through the game. Mm-hmm. It's such it's so gratifying. But you know, it's one of those things where it, I haven't played it in such a long time. Like we're talking twenty plus years here. It's a and, shock. Yeah, like like I'm like, like oh again. my god, what the fuck, man? Why won't that thing go away? And I I you know I, I get to the part where you're climbing up the ladders and I get to the top of that. And I have like four points of health left. And I'm like I'm gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like you're going to the boss room. I'm like, I have three ticks of health, 
and no fucking charge for my <laughs> sub weapons. Games nowadays. Why am I and, even trying? And yeah. for a long time, like they want you to get to the end. They right. want you yeah. to progress and beat the game. Like they count on that. So they make sure you can get there. These old games, man. No, no. no. Fucking no. Dark Souls you hit hard. a boss, and it's like. I don't know how I'm going to get past this fucking ball. I don't know how. Yeah, and, yeah. And you do, you do eventually one day after beating your head against the wall, and it's, it's oh my god, feel. that's Cuphead. Yeah, in a nutshell, yeah. you play the boss. I'm and going it's, to play that game. It's like me you too. Just, yeah, it's one of those things I'm going to have to get. I want the side-scrolling platforming aspects of it. I don't want the like the metal slug yeah. like you know shoot 'em up aspects of it. But I'm 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 going to play it. There's anyways. less. It looks too, there's too there's cool. more platforming eventually, but there's less than I thought. I expected it to be a lot more. Um, but it's kind of like more of a boss run. Still, so much fun. I gotta say though, like from what I've seen of gameplay and all that, like I really like the uh, sh- the shoot 'em up aspect of it. Like, oh, it's the good. Side scrolling, still really good. Like, like of all the games, like R type and shit that I've I've played, it looks like it's the smoothest and most responsive. Easy. Like I, I like R type. Like I have that on my Shield TV, and it's the old school R type. Yeah. And, like, your ship moves so slowly, and it responds so sluggishly. It's like, what the fuck, man? Cuphead is just a special game. Like, it's all hand-drawn animation. Like, oh, I so have to looking. play that game. It looks so gorgeous. It it's not. So cool. It's not like your average, like, R-type bullet hell. Like, I, I was a big fan of those. Oh, yeah. I'd go to the arcade and blow $10 on one machine. Easily. And I was a stupid little fucking kid. I don't know why I did that. Because I mean, those games are made to steal your quarters. Because it's one of those like things that you can easily play yeah. and uh, you can you can pick it up there's no there's no real getting skill in it until later yeah oh yeah so it's like it's real easy to pick the games up like i can get through the first level of our type real mm-hmm. quick despite the fucking shit being slow as dicks but the second level you just get punished oh yeah there's yeah. all the it's not quite there are moments where it is bullet helly where you just i i have no idea where i'm on the screen and there's stuff everywhere and i'm dying but it's not as bad as R Type and most of those other bullet hells. Yeah, uh, I don't even remember which one came out on the Switch uh, or kind of early on. You're talking about the uh, g- Glorious Explosion Machine or something like that? No, no, no it was a it was a um, the, retro uh, game from oh. uh, the uh, uh, Neo Geo. Neo Geo, yeah. Oh. And I, I don't know. I don't even See, I don't know because there's, there's been like but... four or five of those that yeah. have come out because they're so they're easy the to same. make. They're yeah. just a different paint job. But I bought one of those and I was like. Well, this reminds me of fucking back in the day, and I have fun playing it, but it's just, it's maddening. Cuphead, thankfully, isn't, well, doesn't have um, that same feeling. Graceful Explosion Machine is the one I'm thinking of. That, that one actually looks more fun. That, that, more one, that one's really cool. Yeah, Dude, yeah, I like there's that one. A, the, they released a, 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 the, the Mummy movie tie-in game. Oh my god, I saw that. The Mummy Demaster. Demaster. Yeah, yeah. I, and it looks fucking it's dope. on my It's on my uh, wish list on Switch. It's like, one of those games I'll be I buying. I that, that like, too. Really? Yeah. Like, when is you die. A, it's, really? <laughs> it's such a cool thing. Like, when you die, uh, like, you, Do you become it's a not the end. You come back, and you come back as a zombie. Oh, you'll, that's awesome. You'll go, you'll go back through the level and find yourself as a zombie, and it's hard It's hard to get past because he's got all your shit. Yeah. Got your shit back. Yeah. you got to kill yourself. yourself you got to kill the zombie. To That's get your shit back. Shit back. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's it's pretty fucking cool. It's one of those things that I I gotta grab when I got the money, um, and I'm definitely going to be. But Doom on Switch is my higher priority because like Doom is so good. Yeah, like Ron was saying, like it's I never so got to fun. complete it yeah. because I was sitting it's there playing so the game. Fun. I'm sitting there playing the game. I get to the I get to the 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 temple in hell. I died, and. I had already put like 30 something hours into this and that particular playthrough I think I'd put like 8 or 10 just alone because I'd been playing all fucking day and that just discouraged me and then you know I, I, I we were discussing earlier I swapped processors so I went from Intel to AMD and I had to reinstall Windows completely because the version of Windows I was running wasn't compatible with Ryzen the new platform completely so I was getting random lockups and freeze ups and I had to do hard resets to get the shit to work. So when I finally figured that out and reinstalled it, somehow in the confusion, my save data for Doom got lost. Uh, so, yeah. Well, darn, you'll just have to play... I'll just have game. to play yeah. it on Switch now. Yeah, um, which is fine, because yeah, I mean, now I can play yeah, it on the go. The only one I hadn't played was Doom 3. Like, I, I was a PlayStation kid, so right, I never right. got to play Doom 3. But uh, the new Doom, it's so fucking fun, and it's so fast, so fast. and it flows, and the, the levels are open, and mm-hmm. the secrets, and 
and I have this this love and affinity and just warm feeling for the old games. And then you'll see the fucking floating heads, and then you'll see the fucking hell knights Cock and demons. And, yeah, oh yeah. my god! The, the, when I saw the fucking hell demon, the hell demon for the first time. Oh, the hell the, knight. The hell knight. The, yeah. the red ones. Oh, the barons. The barons of Baron. hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I saw those, and the, for the first time I saw those, I was like, oh man, this is the most awesome shit ever. You is like. It, like you said, the game does kind of start out a little slower. The maps yeah, aren't as it, open it as fun. It lets you get your yeah. bearings, your feet But you. the beginning of that game, when you pick up the shotgun, the door's about to open, and the fucking Shh, music's playing, don't, don't, and he yeah. cocks the shotgun right as the beat hits with a guitar solo or whatever it was, that's when I was like, yep, I this is exactly I what love, I want. I yes, love yep, everything guy, I want. Like the, the, it, the game has to throw the story at you. It's got to yeah. try and – here's story. And like, you well, know, there's like, a minimal amount need, of story. You need to. Doom tr- guy doesn't give a fuck about the story. And that's yeah. the yeah, best that's, part of the story. That's what I'm getting at. You, okay, <laughs> these objectives. Okay, yeah, you yeah. need to turn off these valves or whatever. Doom guy gets the one valve and he's like, "There's no lever," so he just kicks the shit. <laughs> yeah, out he just it destroys just it. it. And then the guy comes over the intercom. He's like, "Yeah, you don't need to destroy that. You know, this is the most powerful." Blah, you blah, can just blah, push blah. a you button get to the next one. And he's just like, "Boom!" Fuck kicks it, the I don't care. Yeah. He just does not give a shit, like, because it, it um, guy doesn't give a fuck. What, no. what does that? What does that mean? It's um, someone says in Dark Souls, you're trapped with monsters. In Doom, the monsters are, are trapped, trapped with, with you. you. And yeah. they sell him as this, this the Doom Slayer the or Doom whatever. Slayer. And yeah, they tell, yeah. Like these stories of him and build him up as this fucking badass. It's awesome. It, I can I can tell you. Um, I mean, I've not completed the game, but I really don't feel like you're missing out on much not having played Doom Three. No, it, oh, no, I can tell you from beaming. I you know, know I'm really. There's not. nothing. I yeah, yeah. Well, it's, like it's, it looks so cool. It's like, it's, it's really got a really great art style. I love the how it, dark it is. I mean, we we discussed it in our our disappointing games. It's really atmospheric and it's it, it's nice for that, but it um it doesn't feel like a Doom game. Honestly, it, it, um, like it's like like, like you crop. sit there, you have the first two Doom games, and they're just they're just. Like Doom 16, they're just balls to the wall. You do have some moments where it's quiet and slow, but all overall, you're just you're just surviving a onslaught. In Doom 3, it's like it's really slow. It's really atmospheric. So in that, it's really good for the atmosphere. But everything they, else just uh, falls short. It's like that Chronicles of Riddick game. For an old Xbox. Sort of. There's a yeah. few games back then that I wanted. That to game play was that really good to too. God, I should have brought that up in our yeah. like favorite like underrated games or yeah. whatever. But um. The thing about Doom 3 was when they decided on being survival horror, early on, it is really great as a survival horror game, even though it relies way too heavily on the jump scares yeah, because it's yeah. dark everywhere and you can't fucking put the flashlight on your gun. Um, um, which, by the way, they did fix in the BFG edition. Yeah, thankfully. The monsters just look um, so cool. Later on, though, it does take a turn and become more like Doom should be. Uh, especially once you go to hell, it's Doom. Yeah. It's, it's straight up... You get you and pick up like assault rifles. You get plasma rifle. That's what I you thought. You get the I doom guns, like in the final yeah. boss or whatever. They they open it up and it finally. Yeah, the final doom boss is a completely fine. open. The, the boss is in the middle and you're throwing the terror fuck you cube things at it. Oh, and the soul lots cube. Of other, yeah, yeah, soul cubes, and you're fighting lots of other demons and stuff. And it's it's doom, right? But it takes so long to get to that point where it's uh, early on. It's, it's the end like of the dead game. space. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It's like. It takes a long time to get there. When you first fight the first, uh, I can't remember if they were barons or hell knights. No, I I don't know. So um, they call- I I've not gotten. I I can't say I've gotten more than halfway through the game because yeah, it's one of those things. So fucking cool. Like They're that. so badass yeah. in that game. I honestly, when I think that when they Doom show 3. up, that's when it's like okay, it, we've hit Doom. It starts being right. Doom. You pick when a rocket launcher up. And when you I go think to of town. Doom Three, I think of those hell knights walking yeah. through the corridors, and I think of whatever that fucking monster is with the back legs or its wheels, that little pig looking. Oh, pale the monster. Uh, the dog. It, it was thing. it was in the Doom movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, see, that's the thing. Like, like I've not gotten as far you in get Doom. The chainsaw Doom three, to one of the, on Doom three is one of those games where I play it and I want to like it, but then I get bored with it. Yeah, and I stop playing it. Me- I can't the say story I've gotten. Is fucking whack too. It's, it's I, terrible. It's I, I don't think I've gotten more than a third of. I, I don't think I've gotten more than a third of the way through the game. Like, I, I I can't say I've gotten even that far. Like I've never yeah. played it, but I went and. It. Right. So, like the story, the ending is so dumb. Uh, it's pretty much go here, turn on this thing, go here, turn like on this they, thing. They, they find and then you laying in the hallway. Like these these marines find you like just laying in the dark or in the hallway, whatever. And new it, it is there was a, an weird. expansion that 
um, you end up going back to hell, and they they expanded expanded upon the weapons, and they actually tried to make it more like um, uh, Half Life, where not... they added a gravity gun, they added some other stuff that it was like okay, that's kind of cool, but it it yeah. still it's wasn't not Doom. Doom. It's not Doom guy no. in the third one either. Uh, you're just no, like it's, some it's like he's just a different marine. You're just some marine. He's yeah. a security guard. I, I'm not without a flashlight. Something about without duct tape. I'm sitting there trying to think without of without duct tape. <laughs> sitting there trying to think of the, the way the cannon is supposed to work, and I know they're all somewhat related, but I, I can't like my head cannon. My personal head cannon is the Doom Slayer in the Doom Four slash the reboot because it's both. Um, it, it's there. the same Doom Marine from one and two. Yep. I that that is my personal head cannon. You know, after Doom Two, and you know, you go to hell, and you you get you come back. I, I had this head cannon where, for some reason, he went back into hell. Like, no, yeah. I'm not done yet. And then that's where the Doom Slayer comes from, and thousands of years have passed. But where demons just to save themselves, they knew they couldn't beat him, so they just trapped him. Yeah, yep. they just sealed him away because, yep. like, My holy shit, what Easter do we do? Egg in that game, it, you unlock the uh, the retro level, the retro corridors in the new Doom. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. If you die or get blown up in those, your head will fall on the ground and then the the face will roll over onto the camera. And it's got the original <laughs> face of Doom guy yeah. inside of the helmet. It's, I it's cool. I think my favorite part in the entire game that I've played, um, and like I said, I never played past the, the Hell Temple, unfortunately, but uh, it's where you find. The, the little Doom Marine doll. Yeah. And he right. sits oh, there, he like holds it up, he rotates its fist, he gives it a fist bump, and then Anybody his hand... Shot. Yeah, like... It's like, yes! That is, when I first discovered that, I was like, oh, that is the coolest That's, shit ever! That was yeah. a good collection. And then you find the, the skeleton with the fucking Dragonborn helmet on and an arrow. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, oh, okay, cool. There's a lot of Easter eggs in that game. I oh, found, yeah. I still don't know what it is a reference to, but I found a... A skull that's like up on a pile of bones that had a football helmet on. Commander Keen. Is it Commander Keen? Okay, Commander Keen. that makes sense. Yeah, because Commander Keen wears a uh, football helmet. Okay. And in the universe, uh, Commander Keen, I believe, is BJ Blazkowicz's uh, great grandson or something like that. Okay. And um, it's it's I think BJ Blazkowicz and the Doom Marine are related. Like Somehow. they're like he's a distant uh, a distant uh, descendant. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so, yeah. BJ's going to have twins. If you yeah. haven't played so. the new Doom, play it. Oh, yeah, man. Favor, play the fucking like, new Doom. It's like 15 bucks at GameStop. <laughs> yeah, no, and you know what? It, it was, it's worth $60. I'm going to totally pay $60 oh, yeah. on Switch. Like, I'm, I got to have that game. They, uh, the way they did that game, it's like, I love the fact that that came out at the same time that right now Wolfenstein 2 just came out. Right. And they're incre they're similar, and they're different enough where Wolfenstein... It's not as chaotic as the new Doom. Right. Um, yeah, he's definitely not Doom, guys. No, uh-uh. You, you, you it, die away. If you play he's on higher difficulties, you're going to fucking die. People are bitching about that. Like, yeah. he's, he's a pushover. Well, the, the like, first half of the game, well, about half of the game, uh, you have half your health. And I noticed your max that in the first 50. Wolfenstein, too. Like, I, I got stuck on at certain stages because, yeah. like... If you play you, the it's Wolfenstein a game on where higher just, difficulties... You, it's a game where you need yeah. to be kind of a bullet sponge from time to time, and you can be. <laughs> um, you you can be if you you if you have the right perks and you pick up all the armor and health you can, maxing that shit out. You can if, kind of make it that way. Um, but I, it's a game I actually suggest playing on a lower difficulty. Uh, unless you want to play it for that challenge and do the stealth, do it stealthy. I love stealth in this game because assassinating fucking Nazis and throwing axes at them and stuff is just so fucking satisfying. But uh, for like the Doom experience, which it can be, play it on the easy difficulties and mm. you just run. And yeah. instead of having one cool gun, you can run around with two really fucking awesome guns. Yeah, and that's it's my insane. thing. I usually, I'll usually, if I'm really interested in a game, I and I know I'm gonna play it twice, so I'll just run through it once. Mm -hmm. You know, wreck and 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 if there's a new game plus, I'll roll into new game plus and play it on a harder difficulty. I'm playing. Uh, I'm on my first playthrough right now. I'm playing it on the harder difficulty, and I'm still having fun. And I find moments where I can run and gun, um, but you still have to be careful. I'm just not a like, glutton for punishment like that. I yeah. Got a few oh, it can like be that. punishing. My, my especially early on when you only have a certain amount of your health. My best unlocked. friend Steve, he's like, he's like, fuck it, I'm playing on, you know, hurt yeah. me plenty. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't plan on hurt me plenty. And there's a difficulty even above that. 
Um, they added like a new. There's like. Well, I mean, okay. Two with, easies, two hards, and then like, I know two super hards. With the original difficulty, you had Can I Play Daddy, which was yes. the easiest difficulty, and then you had Hurt Me Plenty. I I can't. And then there was. There was one above that, and then there was I Am Death Incarnate. Yeah. Which and is absolutely Bring It insane. On was the one right. Yeah, Bring It On. That's, that's what it was. I think yeah. that was actually the, the, the one above that, and then Hurt, Hurt Me, Me Plenty. Yeah. And, then, um, and then, of course, they pass that on to Doom. Yeah. It's a little bit different, though, because you have, uh, you know, Don't Hurt Me, Bring It On, Hurt Me Plenty, Nightmare, or Ultra Violence, and then Nightmare, mm-hmm. which, if you've never played Nightmare, it's basically Ultra Violence, but the monsters respawn after like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, Jesus. fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why when people play Doom, um, like for competitions or speedruns or something, they don't play on Nightmare, they play on Ultra Violence. Because they're basically the same difficulty, just Nightmare has responding monsters versus not. But then, of course, in the new Doom, they added Ultra Nightmare, which I won't even fuck with that. Mm. Like, I'm not... God, a, fuck responding you, monsters, right? Man. Like That pissed me off so bad in the original Dooms. I'm not great at the game, but I'm good enough that I can get by. But... Uh, I I won't fuck with that, man. They've definitely got really smart AI, too, in Wolfenstein, too. I heard people complaining about, I'll well... I'll play it when it's cheaper. Oh, it's fun. It's so worth playing I it. I got the money to... I see, I, uh, I still have to play through the New Order. Yeah. I mean... Definitely, because the story is... This that isn't like Doom. Game. Right. Uh, the story matters, and there's a lot of... I mean, for a first-person shooter, there's fucking heart to this game, and the character, like, you give a shit. Right. Um... And BJ's internal monologues and stuff are like important to the game, and I definitely would play the first one before you play in this one. Oh yeah, well, I mean, uh, well, there's an actual story there. Yeah, yeah. exactly, and, and it fact, continues, uh, picks right up. In fact, right now I'm still playing through the old blood yeah. because of the aforementioned hundreds of games list that I'm fucking trying to play mm-hmm. through, and I keep getting yeah. new games added to the top. So, um, continuing on with like games we've been playing, either yeah. you two play Shadow of Mordor or. No, no. I um, donated I, to the guy's family instead of playing Shadow. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing eventually because I've, I've killed my own budget. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I played them both. I, I love the first Shadow of Mordor. Like, I love um, that game. It was fucking awesome. But I did not so, like Shadow of War. That's another game I have to play. Like, that's another game where it's near Automata, Titan Level. I have the game. Mm-hmm. It's installed, ready to go. Haven't fucking I know it. I'm in the minority here, but like Shadow of, Mo- Shadow of War... Shadow mm-hmm. of Loot the second boxes. one, yeah, it's it's <laughs> the first one felt much more free and open, whereas far less managed. Like I went to play the new one, and oh my god, so many fucking push A screens and yeah, go to this objective and that objective, and the, the area was far less interesting to me. Like it felt way over managed. It's the way I, Ubisoft I has decided to do. Or it was open. Not Ubisoft. Right. It, it was open. It's the way open world games have kind of become like, just fucking this, instead of having interesting God. things, the same activities, this the power same bullshit. And that power and like the, 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 it's just so fucking tedious. It's far yeah. too tedious to be an open world game. And it was just boring. The story was boring the fuck out of me. It's like that's see, that's no good because I mean this is based on Lord of the and Rings. It shouldn't be. Like, I am obsessed with Lord of the Rings. Right. I, I read a, I read the series yeah. at least once every year, including the Hobbit books. Like I've I've and I watch all the movies at least once a year. And, and like, like there's oh so God. there's so much source material to work with too. Like there's I, so much stuff that you can come up and with. They and, came up with new stuff for this game. Right. And to, I'm not to saying to it's it. bad. It was just boring me. But and I can't I can't I can't get into the stories in these Shadow. Of loot boxes games that's terrible they they are changing so much stuff it's like okay so wait shelob has shelob is a beautiful she's got pale fucking (laughs) how you doing fucking gorgeous chick that sounds awful like, no, that's no, not and, and like they they change so much stuff. Where it's like I this does not fit, and it can't fit. Yeah, yeah. Like so I need all to the turn problems my brain in this off. world are caused by evil rings. Let's make another evil Let's, ring. Yeah, I gotta turn my brain. <laughs> this off. will work out as that's a Lord retarded. of Rings fan, and, and yeah. like I can't. I, I have to turn my brain off. This, right, this right, is right. not lore. I can't do it. Like I just don't see that. That's bad. Like that's bad for a Lord of the I Rings. I didn't game. enjoy it, so I went and I. I was like, I took it back. <laughs> <laughs> I took it back, and I went and I, and I, I bought, I got some bunch of stuff that I wanted to play. Right, see, last year and the year before. That makes me sad. Like, I wasn't gonna play the game anyway because of the aforementioned loot box bullshit. Like, I'm I, shoving yeah. that in their faces. But like now, I, I don't. I'm definitely not gonna ever play it. 
I thought about I picking was it up playing on it. Amazon. Uh, uh, I had just moved into a new apartment, so and I was getting Spectrum. Uh, so basically, fuck me. It took me a month to get a goddamn Wi-Fi signal. So I play, I played the game offline. Right. So I didn't have any of that loot box right, shit. Right. So I mean that that is one. I can't comment on that. That is one positive I can give the game. Like in the beginning, you start playing it, you install it, whatever. You cannot agree to that that whole thing, like their EULA or whatever, and you will not get any loot box shit. But like. It's like it, if the game is as bad as Ron is describing, I'm not going to be interested anyway. Because I mean, if it's a Lord of the Rings there... game, like for me, I'm I'm right there with Ron. Like I don't, God. I'm not as deep into the lore. But like, if the game is boring, Lord of the Rings is not boring to me. I will watch those fucking movies. Like I mean, the yesterday, the protagonist is so boring. See, like yesterday, AMC had Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers on, but after Two Towers, instead of having Return of the King, they had fucking Fantastic Four, but whatever. I sat there and I watched the movies, even though I've seen them many, many times. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter. These are good fucking movies. The books were fantastic. Yeah. Like, I've, I, I lost my, my, unfortunately, I lost my collector's edition in the, in the flood, in a flood I had, like, five or six years ago. But I still read that book, like, every couple years because it's just that fucking good. Yeah. And, you know, if you're going to tell me that a Lord of the Rings game like this is boring, I mean, what the fuck's the point? It was so boring. That's terrible. It was so boring. boring. It, it, and I was coming off of South Park, and I was like, oh, man. Like, South Park was so fun. It was so funny. And is it as short as the first South Park? I mean, it took me 20 hours to beat it. Okay. And I, did, too I bad, didn't man. do everything either. Right, right. I did everything afterwards. It took me It took me about 22 hours to beat everything. Uh, That's not but, too bad. But, no, it was pretty lengthy. And then, right. I mean, I removed from it. I prefer... The Stick of Truth. It was just funner. Like, right, I prefer, right. I prefer them playing, like, Lord of the Rings as opposed to superheroes. Right, yeah. And the the story was way more far out in this one. Like, there was some, oh, fuck. How the fuck did they get away with that moments in this game? Like, I, mean, I don't want to ruin it. Dude, I'm not even going to ruin it. It involves little boys, a strip club, and... I mean, it's that's right. That's all I'm gonna the say. The title alone is is incredible. And they're yeah. they're they're in the in a, they're lap dance mini games. And I'll add that. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. That's awesome. <laughs> it was fucked up. It's GTA meets South Park. There's you a go, whole fucking go to lot church. of work. And, and another thing I'll say is go to church. <laughs> go to church. <laughs> If you play Fractured Butthole, go to church immediately. <laughs> Wait, in real life or in the church? In, in the game. In the game. Go, okay. Go to okay. church and talk to the talk to Pat the pastor. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's terrible. Holy shit! But yeah, that game was so fun. It actually reminds me of the epi- I, I recently uh, watched the episode of South Park where they were uh, trying, like, where the the priest has scared the shit out of them by telling them they're going to go to hell unless they save their souls. And they're like, "Well, what about Timmy? Timmy's retarded. He can't re- he can't repent. All you can say is Timmy." And so, and, and the pastor is like, "Oh no, he's going to hell." I like just <laughs> there, there's no saving him. He's well, going well, to hell. Pastor, the pastor's like go. Yeah, he's like go in this dark room and find God. Oh jeez, yeah, that's terrible. Just, come on, man, go 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 in this dark room. Come on, buddy. Let's let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there with you. It's okay. Oh <sighs> God. I mean, it I, was fucked. It, it was so fucked. As horrible as it is to say, I wish the game had come out in like. A few months, so they could have some Kevin Spacey jokes in oh, there. That. <laughs> Even though that I saw in Don't trailers, worry. they've got Jared. <laughs> yeah, you so. can basically. It, it, oh you man, get, you defeat Jared, and it's like, do you want to spare him or do you want to fart in his face and kill him? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, obviously, you kill him. Oh yeah, no. I mean, what the fuck else would you do at that yeah, point? Fart based gameplay. Up. Yeah, Jared is a total boss in that game. That's awesome. Jared from Subway. I gotta see. I, I still. I that's another one of those things where I've not even completed the first game. But when I started playing that game, that game reminds me a lot of Paper Mario with like the timed attacks and stuff. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, when I first started playing that game, that was not the mindset that I had when I first started it. So it it turned me off. Not because I'm not good at that stuff, but because I just I didn't feel like playing I that. I enjoy the combat in the first one, but it this was more sim- based it was on overly QTEs, simple and it? repetitive. This yeah. one, they they kind of tried to break up that, you right. know, the monotony with the grid. It's everything's gridded out, and 
It's, it's kind of tactical. Like, ta- it's like it's, fire it's way more tactical. Uh, you got to move right. around the battlefield right. in order to land certain attacks. And I mean, that's cool. I, but, but, I mean, I'm not, and I'm not like criticizing the first one at all. Um, I just didn't go in expecting Paper Mario mechanics, and I, I got to be in a proper mindset for that. And I just wasn't. So I was like, eh, I like, I like, I like Cartman's line in the beginning. I was like, he's like, I know it's stupid, but this is how we're fucking doing it. <laughs> Turn-based RPG. I lo- no, no, no. You guys got to stand there and wait. It's our just turn to wait attack. Wait your turn. It's my turn. <laughs> you know uh, that what you just said applies to a lot of things in our lives. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me sad. I know it's stupid, but this is the way we're doing it anyway. Right? Yeah. You know, like, like how? Like we can relate to that so very, very much. Like it's really kind of sad. But hey, whatever. You know what I've been playing a lot of lately? Pokemon Gold. Huh. Like, uh, Nintendo released it on a 3DS virtual console, and me being the idiot that I am, pre-load, pre-ordered it and loaded it, and I have both gold and silver. If I didn't have a kid, I'd probably play that shit, but I just leave, I just leave it at, I played, I yeah. played blue and back in the day, and I just right. leave it at that. But, uh, yeah. I've, I've, in my memory banks. gold has become my toilet game. Yeah, <laughs> like, there you go, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, like, I think everyone has a toilet game. Everyone has, like, a, at, at, at any given time. If you're a gamer, I think you have a game you only play on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All at South Park just released a mobile game called Sa- South Park Phone Destroyer. <laughs> God, God. I'm, but, I've been meaning to boot that up. I got to boot that up still and see what that's about. But but I I'm like it's become my toilet game or like the game I'm playing if I have a YouTube video going on in the background that I want to watch but not pay full attention to. <laughs> so I'll I'll fucking sit there and just play it. And I'm like I've already beat the first half of the game, meaning I'm at the Elite Four. But I can't challenge them because all my Pokemon are like mid forties. Mm-hmm. But I've I've achieved all that sitting on the toilet over the last few weeks. Like, <laughs> I I single I've, guy who lives alone. It's, just, it's, it's a lot amazing. Of time spent on the toilet. Man. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You know, especially if you have a terrible diet because you don't take care of yourself. But yeah, I've, I, that's what I've been doing. Every time I go in there, I make it a point to level up at least one Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Like gonna I'm gonna up. go in there. I'm just gonna sit there. I don't have to. I don't have to answer. You gotta anybody. have goals in life. Yeah, yeah. right. So Get that's what right. I do. I, I every time I go take a shit, I bring the bring my 3ds with me, and I sit there. I, I'm gonna level up at least one Pokemon. <laughs> this time it looks like it's gonna be Noctowl. Yeah. Next time it looks like it's gonna be Dragonair, and Dragonair is the worst one to raise because yeah. it requires Fucking so pain-ass. much more experience points than the others. Yeah, I gave up on that. I'm never getting a. <laughs> it, know, it's terrible. Like, yeah. like, yeah, like, like it's so bad because like those Pokemon, Dratini and shit like that. All I the just dra- want almost something that has hyper beam. Well, almost all the Dragon type Pokemon require as much experience points to level up as a legendary Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like right now at the point I'm at, it's like six thousand eight hundred experience points to level up Dragonair. Oh, and this Pokemon only requires five thousand. Well, fuck you. Yeah, you know, like. Looks like I'm sitting on the toilet for a while, <laughs> but that yeah, that's one. That's another one of those games that I've been I've been playing a lot of. Yeah, because shit, shit game. Yeah, game. something to play on there. Right. That's what Fire Emblem was for me for a while, and right. I just fucking usually listen listen to fucking audiobooks. Oh yeah, well that's a good thing to do too. Yeah. Or watch YouTube videos. I do that. Yeah. That's why you're so. That's why you're so long in the toilet at work, ain't you? You're sitting there watching YouTube videos. You fat fuck. I, I'll be honest. There's times at work where I'm just like. I just need to fucking go and sit down. <laughs> and that's what I'll do is I'll be like, I'm just fucking sit here and watch a video or two, and then I'll go back. <laughs> uh, I, I do that in the office. I go in there and I'll just sit there and look like I'm on a computer and just fuck with my yeah, phone. I try. I, do, I can't do it in the office because I'll fall asleep. Right. Oh, yeah. And I try not to do that. We've work, all been there so long that it's we've, we've just become so pro at wasting time in yeah. certain ways. Yeah, like, but... Well, unlike some people, we actually make sure our work is done first. Yeah, <laughs> it's just because we, you figure. I mean, yeah, I got like, time to kill, man. This yeah. is my job. I got to get through this nine hours. This is this is the task at hand. Fuck, fuck, fuck that! <laughs> I mean, I need to, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a shit for forty minutes. This is fucking uh, personal welfare. <laughs> yeah, like like that's the thing. Like you got to keep mental health good. Yeah, and that's that's why that's why there's so many jokes that we throw around. When the light shuts off, that's when it's like, okay, I gotta go. This isn't this <laughs> isn't a job that any of us are satisfied with. So it's not like, oh man, I want to 
bang this shit out. Not to have a bad attitude. I want I want to bang this shit out and move on to the next thing and then move on to the next thing. Fuck all that. I, I I'm going to feel... do my job. I'm going to do a fucking good job. One I earn of... my fucking paycheck and I'm going to get the fuck out of there. I feel that way. We're like, yeah, I'm going to do this shit until I actually get there. Yeah. And then, like, I you get, get there, in the face and with I all the bullshit. And yeah, like night. I see, all right, what's this? What's going on over here? Oh, okay, so this God. person didn't do what they were supposed to do. Oh, that person show. didn't do what they were supposed to do. So now that's the worst. You have that feeling, and it's like I'm gonna have to fix their fucking problem first. Well, fuck it all. Yep. And you you just give up after that. So you get yeah. you get what you need to get done done. You might do one extra thing, and then you just kind of. Do, do whatever you do have my to do. Job, manage the area that I'm in, and all that shit, and then that's that, it. That's my. That's all I got time for. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't care. I yep. mean, I try, but you guys make it really, really hard to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ugh. Going over seven years now. Yeah, really. I mean, I hit my eighth year in uh, at the end of January. Like that. Sure. That'll be my eight years. I'm like, oh god. Hopefully, I get this IRS job in January. God, fingers crossed. Do I hit? <laughs> Fuck, I think I hit. I know you've been there at least six. October, yeah, I didn't see. my. I must have uh, missed my anniversary date. You were probably off I'm that day. six years. Isn't it crazy how yeah. many, how we, like, that, all of third shift, like, a lot of us have been there together for a long time. That's fucking rare. Well, when yeah, I know. Third shift, you either, it's trial by fire. Yeah. You yeah. either yeah. make no. it and you're going to be there for a while. Yeah. Or you just fucking don't, and you're fucking done. And we can see when we get new people. Oh, you got kids? You can't be here for long. It's not even that. Like you can just look at somebody, and you can yeah. tell. Yeah. Oh, they're not great at taking this. They're not going to be here. I've yeah. said that to people. Like I've been here so long. You see so many faces come and go. I oh can yeah. Look, I yeah, can yeah. look at. I can look right at you. And know you're and, not going to make I it. I can know you're mm-hmm. not going to make it. I know you're going to be gone. That's, that's yep. why, like, I I take the policy of new people. I won't say a fucking word to them. Yep. I I don't learn names. I, I that's just, for sure too. I, yeah. I won't get your name for like how long? Oh, you, a year and a half. Oh, that's my person. Okay, that's that yeah. Like, like <laughs> unless I have to directly work with you, I won't know who the fuck you are. No. And like. It's like, and it's like, I'll totally say hi and smile. Right, and yeah. Like, I would, uh, another night and act like I know who the fuck you are, but I, I would don't. tell that to, like, ye who does not fucking deserve to ever have their name mentioned ever mm. again when they would bitch about people and, like, things going on, like, going yeah. on at, yeah. at night and stuff like that. I'm like, you, like, don't worry. They will not fucking be there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you probably won't be here. And you know what? <laughs> sure enough, you fucking weren't. <laughs> you got that right. But, uh, yeah, I, I, unless I have to work with them, I won't learn their name. I'll say hi to them if they say hi to me. But beyond that, I won't greet anybody who's been there at less than six months. Because it's like, if you make it to six months, you might make it to a year. Mm-hmm. And if you make it to a year, you're pretty much okay. But until then, I don't fucking care about you. Especially our new fucking attendance policy is just designed to yep. fucking weed people out. Right. You get yourself into a hole, and you think, "Oh man, I got quite a, I got quite a few, you know, exceptions at my disposal." Nah, man, that shit catches up with you. Oh yeah, and yeah. shit happens, and they will fucking fire you. And people, and like people, think I'm joking. Like when I look at them and say, "If you're not careful, you're gonna get fired." Yeah. And they think, "Oh no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna get. No, you're gonna get fired." I'm telling I've been, you. I've lived on the edge for a while, quite yeah. a few times. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. A funny thing <laughs> is. I got a point back. I can call off this week. Here's the yeah. thing, though. Like, every single person I've said that to, mm-hmm. they've gotten fired yeah. for yeah. exactly what I said they were going to get fired for. Like, nobody fucking gets it. It's like, listen, I've been here eight fucking years. I've seen 1,500 faces come and go. Yeah. You're not going to be here if you don't fucking listen to me. Yep. And sure enough, they don't fucking listen. They're gone. It's like whatever, dudes. I don't care anymore. But whatever, man. We were talking about video games, and now we're bitching about work. I, that's <laughs> that's uh, lovely. I love it. Uh, speaking of work, like next Friday, uh, I don't know if this is the place for it. Fucking Justice League comes oh, out next yeah. Friday. We, yeah. we usually record right after work. How um, the fuck are we gonna do that? We're gonna record at like twelve or one after Justice League because it's not like we're not gonna do a Justice League. Blah blah. We could. I don't know. Like that—that's a rough one. That's yeah. t- that's a toughie because, right. like, 
I mean, I'm completely free Fridays, but you guys are not. Because you got to go work. You got to fucking work. I got to work that night. And Fridays just are fucking awful. Yeah, no. Up front, Um, Fridays are terrible. So I can't, I mean, I'll probably see it. I don't know. I figure we could do what we do and then see the movie and then. I mean, I'll probably see it again before Mm -hmm. the next pod. If we we want to talk about it, um, I can maybe talk to my mom and tell her don't come over next Saturday. I don't like doing that. Well, I mean, you know what? We could could just. uh, I, I you know truth talk be told about though, what we want to happen in Justice League and yeah, what we, we think will happen and and then the following Friday then have our air our, our disappointment our hopes and dreams <laughs> dashed and crushed right cause dashed and, and I'm gonna sit there I'm gonna sit quietly WB just I'm gonna sit quiet all these rumors are in my head I don't know I, if that's I, enough time for Ron to decide he didn't like the movie you know though. the yeah, you, <laughs> you've, you've heard the Joe rumors. and I will be like man that you've, was disappointing you've heard the rumors <laughs> there's gonna be two greens in this movie. There's going to be two greens in it. Yeah. I, you know Sources what? Sources say. Um, I, I'm going to sit there in silence. And because, I'm going to um, cry tears at the end of the movie when he's not in. I'm going to be fucking crushed. Um, see, see, I've gotten to a point now where every all these rumors come around. They hype movies up. Mm-hmm. So I've completely stopped but paying any old attention to him. Henry Cavill posted this Instagram post. And he's like, it's him doing in the gym, whatever, being a fucking beast. Right. Because he's uh, fucking Superman. He has to be. Muscles on muscles. Yeah, he basically is the point of his post. He's like, in the gym, one day at a time, blah, blah, always getting bigger, getting stronger. He's like, I just got to make sure I'm bigger than Green Lantern. And he's like, wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, fuck you, Henry Cavill. Don't do this to me. You know what? Speaking of that, just because I think it'd be an awesome post. Why would he say that? I don't know. Something they should do for... Just to fuck with people. Something they should do for fucking charity or something like that. Get all these guys who are having to fucking bulk the fuck up for superhero roles, like Josh Brolin, him, um, fucking Guardians of the Galaxy dude. Oh, you're talking about uh, Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt. All the guys, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. Get all of the different... There are way too many Chris's there. Yes, there are. Get all of the guys who have to do this like crazy get fucking ripped as fuck. Get them together and do like a photo shoot or something like, like that for charity. Like, get them in the gym or something, because those guys fucking Make a calendar. turn into badass. Like, I mean, I'm trying to, They like... fucking really change themselves, and the kid who's going to play Shazam is going to be the next one, where you see a picture of him, and he's like, oh, that's the you know, normal-looking dude, and the then he's going to look fucking the buff, Henry Cavill The ripped. fucking buff dude thing. Like, I know yeah. exactly how they do it. Right. It's pretty it's fucking intense. Consistency crazy, though. At, like, six months to a year or longer, and there's bulking phases and fucking... The way soul crushing fucking diets where you just yeah. eat the most boring, monotonous shit over and over and over. <laughs> you mean you don't like canned chicken and tuna? I was watching I was an interview. Say rice broccoli? chicken and tuna. I was watching. You don't like Henry, broccoli? Oh, fuck tuna. I was watching Henry Cavill do. <laughs> I was watching a Henry Cavill interview and he's talking about like he fucking just would. He would literally like kill somebody for a Guinness or something. Yeah. And when he said right after he said that, he had the most broken. Depressed <laughs> look on his face, and it's written all over his face how much he would just do. Just wants to drink a fucking Guinness beer, right. and he fucking can't. So he's sad. gotta be Superman and do fucking Olympic cleans all day. I mean, you said this is, there was a fucking uh, Instagram video of Chris Pratt with a piece of cake, and he's gonna eat the cake the next day, but he's like, look, look at my cake, look at this delicious yeah. chocolate cake. I just, no, I just, I can't. What I, can't I think have of, it. I have to say, but I want. One piece thing I of think of is like, like I just oh my god. There's this picture of the Ultimate Warrior, yeah. and he would he would like a muffin or a, a cookie. He just crumble it up in his hands and look at it and smell it, <laughs> <laughs> and then throw it in the garbage and walk oh, away. That's so rough, man. As somebody who cuts sugar and carbs just out, smell it's it, yeah. so rough, man. Like like. Fucking yesterday, man, they put goddamn cupcakes in the break yep. room. I'm like, oh, I hate myself right I now. Fu- I fucking ate one. I did, Fuck too. I, I did, too, and I hate myself for it because that's what causes my headaches, that kind yeah. of shit right there. That intense amount of sugar. It's like, oh, man. I got and, and I'm suffering from a migraine right now. Yeah. It's fucking yeah, I'm awful. I'm struggling. I got a really thoughtful gift for my birthday yesterday. Um, like, somebody bought me uh, cookies right. for my birthday. Right. And uh, they have Green Lantern symbols on them. Right. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And I, I want to eat them so bad. <laughs> so bad. But no, you uh, can't do it. I'm, I'm... Yeah, have half a cookie a day. You'll be okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that could just do that. severely that's, limited. That's fair. Right? Yeah, it's half that's a cookie. Fair. Half just, a cookie. You know, it's just, not too much. There's no just fucking dead. way he eats just half the cookie. I'll He'll just, eat half the cookie. The next thing you know, he's sitting in his living room. Oh god, that was a penance. mistake. I'll pay my penance and deadlift like three hundred an extra two times. Or something. Right? Yeah. You know. Kill myself. <laughs> have wobbly legs. This is for the what I have to do days. for the cookie. <laughs> next two days, my legs feel like fucking wires. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You got a fucking cookie. Got to got to satisfy Lord Gaines. <laughs> Gaines All right. is a fickle, fickle master. <laughs> Lord Gaines will strike your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna cut it off there. Uh, yeah. We started off talking about video games, went off onto a tangent that had nothing we to do can't with anything. Stay on one topic. No, I mean, it broke down eventually. We did yeah. pretty good for a little while. Yeah, no, we 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 completely stayed on topic. Did we mi- I don't think we missed anything. No, not really. Yeah. I mean, I played I, PUBG. It's right? not usually me. I think I did it this time. I'm like, hey, Justice League. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. well, I mean, before that though, we talked about work for like eight minutes. Yeah, so. <laughs> we just we just complained about. We were work. talking about horse fucking, so I take this as a victory. Yeah, you know, you got to. Yeah, I will give you that one. When, when we did that, though, I just had I had don't, to go all the Don't in. fuck horses; they will kill you. Yeah, no, I mean, we have documented evidence of we a have, guy. We have seen some shit. Yeah, he he didn't survive. Uh, <laughs> the horse fucked that man to death. Literally, yes, he he fucking died. <laughs> okay, okay, okay stop, too. stop, stop! Right there, Ron. Right, <laughs> You're right, gonna right. get me started again. I'm gonna go <laughs> way too deep. Um, if there's anyone still listening. <laughs> well, that horse if didn't anyone's go too still deep. listening, Thank like, you for like listening the fucking the Facebook leaks. page, like the fucking Instagram page, follow send the uh, message, follow us, you know, YouTube. leave comments. Joe made a YouTube page. We totally got a YouTube page up, which I'm so sorry, I'm so lazy getting episodes up, but I'm I'm just lazy. Where we gotta build it's things tedious. up slowly. And but we just talked about your distractions. If and you enjoy the, the podcast, give us a rating on iTunes. A, send us a comment. We will. I mean, we're open to suggestions. Whatever. Call us faggots. We'll, we we'll build. We'll take we, it. We come up with fucking mindless topics and stuff, and just off we go. It's no big deal. Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> other times we just world. we have no we have no target. We just talk. Yeah, I, I love the bullshit pods. Just sit down, and smoke a hookah, and bullshit. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. But uh, that's it for us. We're gonna go ahead and sign off here for the Ungodly Geeks. I was Joe. I was Luke. And I'm Ron. You guys have a good one. Bye.